Welcome back to Instables, everyone. Again, going over our intraday swing and long perspective here on the queues. Again, in the video before this, I went over the SPY. If you guys want to see where the S&P may be headed next. But again, sitting on the queues here on a descending wedge, we are looking to see if we will get that proof of concept on the up and over channel as we are now spiking above it. What exactly has to happen for us to continue again leading into tomorrow's GDP and initial jobless claims in pre-market? What exactly are we looking for to the upside? What would be our bearish possible case scenario as well coming up? I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for here. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you are a day trader, again, if you are market prepping before market open, looking for pre-market news for those major breakouts that you need to be watching before market open every single day, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a break alert today again. So jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the queues again jumping right into our intraday perspective again as we do have a spike again yesterday sitting on a doji candle indecisive exactly where we're headed next as you guys can see we didn't break above our 402 level that we mentioned from our prior day we are still looking to see if we can break above it for that possible continuation into our 408 level our prior rejection point but one thing to keep in mind is that next week we are leading into our next interest rate decision again our prior interest rate decision did have a run-up but we did have a sell-off so again our question is will we have a possible run-up leading into next week's rate decision and again with our continuation with decreases in cpi will we possibly continue on higher again non-farm payrolls is what gave us this initial spike and then we did continue on higher with an engulfing candle again we did have a pullback again because powell mentioned that unemployment wasn't exactly as high as we did need so again leading into tomorrow with initial jobless claims will be very key and our gdp not exactly expected to be better than worse for GDP and initial jobless claims. Again, our prior initial jobless claims was a pullback. So not exactly where we're going to head next going into tomorrow. But as far as that continuation for swings, again, this is the most important part is that we are looking for that proof of concept, a possible spike, a possible engulfing candle following that. As we do have our 20 still crossing above our 50, again, we have to assume that since our 20 day has not crossed above our 50, that we have not tested our 20 day above our 50 quite yet. So again, we need that retest again, getting that possible continuation as our 20 day does cross above our 50. That's what we're looking for, looking for that proof of concept here. And again, we do have a resistance here at 408, making sure that we do continue on past it will be what we're looking for in that continuation again next week with Powell speaking will be exactly if we do get that continuation in my opinion now looking at our weekly chart again as we are looking for that possible continuation again we are watching our MACD very key here that we do get our email line across above the median of our MACD again on the SPY we are very close we are almost crossing higher here just under the median of our MACD but here on the queues we are a little laggy here sitting back looking for that continuation on the queues again if we do not get that continuation here on the queues we possibly curl back down we do cross our 12 below our 26 and we get that possible pullback here again if we do not get our email lines across above the median of our MACD we are not going to have that continuation on momentum but one thing that we do like is that we are spiking higher here again we are spiking higher than our previous highs here looking for that continuation on strength very much leading into next week's again FOMC with our next Fed rate hike and again as we do still have our 20 weekly moving average below our 50 weekly moving average we are not completely confident to the upside we are just looking for that possible bullish momentum but again making sure that we do get that proof of concept on our weekly chart will be very key as well as you guys can see prior our 20 day to cross below our 50 weekly moving average we did continue on lower since then so again making sure that we at least get our 20 weekly moving average to cross back above our 50 weekly moving average for swings to be confident but again we are definitely cautious to the downside intraday in my opinion at this point as we do have a spike retesting our 50 weekly moving average we'll see exactly what happens and jumping into our long perspective as you guys can see again sitting on our descending wedge as we did follow last month's and the months prior on an engulfing candle to the downside getting that rejection on the up end of our descending wedge making sure that we do not close this candle with the rejection and again that rejection could possibly be that continuation on lower again descending wedges don't necessarily always break out so again making sure that we do get that proof of concept will be very key we do like that we got our decrease in sell pressure our continuation on that decrease in sell pressure again after getting a solid bar on that increase in sell pressure we do have another white shaded line looking to see if we do close with this white shaded line on the month and as we do have our email lines crossing below the medium MACD on the monthly chart with that possible again bearish case scenario on swings and longs making sure that we do get our email lines at least cross above for longs to be confident here again as you guys can see prior we had our 2020 pandemic we did cross higher here and we did continue on higher for those couple of years if we were watching that indicator that is what we're looking for again intraday swings and longs 
that's exactly what we're looking for again going back to the daily chart looking for that proof of concept that proof of concept could be a possible spike here a possible retest here possibly the following day and looking for that engulfing candle or maybe we get that possible engulfing candle going into friday again looking for exactly what happens with our 20 day curling up here looking to see if we do cross above our 50 is the watch here we'll see exactly what happens now again if you are a day trader again if you are looking for very volatile breakouts pre-market news before market open if you're market prepping before the market opens every single day in the instables and we mentioned any pre-market news any breakout that is worth looking at throughout the day go to instables.com in the description below and for only 15 dollars a month you will never miss a breakout alert today again and again all of you instables just keeping an eye on tomorrow's gdp and initial job is claims coming out one hour before market open and then next week's interest rate hikes we'll see exactly what pal mentions if he is more bullish than bearish or if we will get a possible false break here and possibly continue on lower on a rejection we'll see exactly what happens being cautious and again if you guys do like this video it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in pre-market